Hello guys, welcome to the next video of OPL assignment video series. So today we will discuss about the assignment that is biodata, employee biodata using multiple inheritance. So in this assignment, we have to uh, first define three classes and from these three, three classes, we have to derive fourth class that is biodata and then you have to show the data of employee. Okay, that is biodata. So first of all, we'll see the class diagram for this program so, so this is the class diagram so we have to first define personal record class where i will take four member variables that is name age dop date of birth and address so name will be of string type age will be of integer type date of birth will be of string type and address will be of string type okay so all these uh, these will have uh, this hash means all these will have protected access specifier as these variables or these member variables are going to be accessed by derived class okay so after this in this class i'm going to define get personal this uh, this function and a member function i'm going to define for taking the data of or the for taking the uh, value of these variables okay so this function will have void return type and it will have public access specified okay so after that next class that we have to define that is professional record so in this class i will have employee id designation department and salary these member variables of uh, uh, protected access specifier we will use okay and then i will define a get professional function member function for taking the input of these member variables which which will again have will have the void return type again the third class that i will define that is academic record so in this class i will take qualification marks percentage and passing year okay so again these will have protected access specifier and in this in the same class i will define a get academic member function which will have a public access specifier and then it will also have void return type okay so these will be my three classes that i want to define first which are specified in problem statement after that uh, i have to implement multiple inheritors so first of all just to understand what is meant by multiple inheritance so multiple inheritance is a type of inheritance and you know in, uh, as you know inheritance means what it acquires the properties of base class or one class when one class is acquiring the properties of another class that time that is called as inheritance so here in this in this scenario here we are we are going to acquire the properties of three classes Okay, these three classes will be the base class now base class one base class two and base class two that is that means parent classes okay these three classes are parent classes here so from these parent classes i'm going to derive a fourth class that is biodata okay so in this biodata class i'm not going to declare these members these member functions and member variables directly i'm going to derive the properties or acquire the properties and behavior of these classes in this biodata class okay just uh, one thing that I'm, I'm going to do here that is in biodata class i will define only one function that is show info this will be uh, in uh, in public uh, this will be a public member function which will have a void return type so here i will display only all the uh, all the uh, information that i'm going to take uh, from these classes that i will display in this show info function okay so this way so what is meant by multiple inheritance multiple in multiple inheritance one a derived class will acquire the properties from multiple base classes or multiple parent classes okay so in this case biodata class is acquiring the properties of these three classes these three classes are parent classes or base classes because of that it is called as multiple inheritance where child is only one but parents are multiple okay so this is what the class diagram i, I will make it smaller okay i'll take it here okay and then now we are going to define these classes okay so i will now do it with the help of code editor okay code block editor now see in the uh, program first of all i will define personal record class so class personal record so in protected okay i'll use protected access specifier because without protected access specifier we cannot access the members member variables of base classes into derived classes okay so we have to use it here so there we need a name uh, variable so i'll use string data type then name variable name 
an int data type and age variable name. Then I need string data type for date of birth. Okay, then I need string data type for address variable. Okay, so these are the variable member variables which are required in personal record class. Now after this, I use public access variable because I want member functions. Okay, so here in Inside this public access face file, I'll now define get personal. You can see I'm using and take the reference of class diagram here. So there is a void return type. I'm using a void return type. There is a plus symbol that means public access face file. Here I'm using public access face file. So now I'll define get personal member function. So in this function, I have to take the data. Okay, input of this data. So I'll use C out first and I'll write enter the name of employee okay so I'll write this here and then handle handle is the manipulator which is the replacement for new line character okay so here which implements the new line character here or which transfers the cursor to the next line then after that this uh, I'll take the input okay now I'll take the input with the help of now I have to take the input of what that is I have to take the input of string so to, to get this string here I will use get line function so I'll use get line and in this get line I'll use first the object that is seen and then the variable of string type that is name okay so why to use get line because get line accepts the uh, it allows the blank spaces or white spaces if you use C in and then extraction operator and we'll write a variable name, string variable name, it won't accept your blank spaces or white spaces. So because of that, I'm using here get line. This is the member function of uh, iStream class there. Okay, that we can use. Okay, after this, the next thing that I want that is enter the age. Okay, so I'll use here and L or I don't require now okay better way I will remove this okay better way I will remove this okay and then the proxy in I'll take age I'll take the input of age now sorry okay for that I need next variable uh, next value that is enter the date of birth so date of birth will be a single string so that time i can use c in okay and here i can use directly date of birth okay but see at this time it will lead some problem so because of that i will use something here that is c in dot get function i will call here because after pressing enter button here it might happen that it will means this c in will take the enter as a character here okay or blank space will it will take as a character and will store that black space into dob so to avoid that first of all i will call here get function which will capture the blank space here as a character and then the scene will take the value of date of birth here okay so for that the next variable that is for address or enter the address We'll take the address now. Okay. So after this, I'll take now get line. Okay, I'll call the get line function now. In this get line, first parameter will be seen object and second parameter will be address variable, string variable. Okay. So this way we have taken the input of all the member variables. So now our task has been finished here. So we have defined personal record class here. Okay, now we have to define the next class that is professional record so well, again i will return back and then check what are the other okay so personal record is having again some member variables i'll use protected access specifier that is required here and inside this i'll now declare integer i'll use integer variable or integer data type so emp id this variable i want to declare then i want a string type of variable that is designation Okay, so that I will use here and I need 
department of string data type so department okay and i need salary so i'll use integer for you here okay so int salary okay so this is about the member variables now we'll go for the next that is member function so here i need uh get professional okay this is having void return type and with empty parameters so this member function i need to i i have to define here so that i will define here now see in this function first of all i will display enter the employee id i will display this okay so there itself there itself will take the input of the mp id with the help of emp id function of uh, emp id variable so after that next variable next value that i want to i want is enter designation so I'll use enter designation and here designation will have a space so that I will call get line and the first parameter will be cn and the second parameter will be designation okay it might happen that in some uh, designation there might be a space okay then next I will use enter department so department may also have space so before the guard i will call get line and this first parameter scene and second parameter will be my department variable name so then next fourth parameter fourth is salary so i'll use enter salary okay so here i'll use cn and then salary variable i will use okay so this way we are defined the second class that is professional record now first third class that we have defined that is academic record okay so at this time now again we'll go back okay and we'll see what are the members in academic record so again i'll use here protected access specifier right now okay so we need protected access specifier inside that there is qualification okay so i'll use qualification okay i'll declare this string type of variable then there is int or uh, marks variable which will have integer data type then there is percentage uh, percentage variable which will have double data types i use percentage variable name then there is an integer type of variable which will have pass underscore year variable name okay so this is of protective type now i will declare I'll use and define get academic function of void return type with public access specified. So void get academic. Okay, so this function I will define now inside the academic record function uh, class. Okay, now I'll define it now. Okay, so inside this we want to take uh, the input of all these member members that is member variable. So first of all, let us basically out enter the qualification. Okay, so this I will display, and at this time I'll use okay qualification. It might not have, so we can use C in here, and that time we can use qualification. Okay, okay, then I'll display C out with the box C out. I'll display enter the marks. Okay, so then the box C in and take the input of marks. Okay, then C out enter the percentage. Okay, this I will display and then the pop C in and take the input of percentage. Then again C out and enter the person year. Okay. So this I will display and then the pop C in and take the input of person year. Okay. So this way we have defined academic record class. Okay. Now we'll go go into third. Uh, fourth class that is biodata class now you can see in class diagram we have shown that is we have shown that is biodata class is the child of all these three classes it is derived from all these three classes so no need to you know, define these functions or declare these members in the biodata classes right now so just i will do one thing that is i will just define one function that is show info of white return type Okay, with public access specifier to show the 
values or to show the data of all these three classes okay so i'll do that but see to implement the inheritance we have to do one thing that is first we have to write the derived class name that is biodata then colon we have to write here and after this colon we have to write the access specifier that is public and then the base class one then base class one is personal record comma public professional record comma public academic record okay so we are deriving this class from these three classes with public access specifier so in public access specifier why to use public access specifier here while inheriting the uh, base classes because public uh, uh, type of inheritance here or public access specifier will will keep the access specifier as it is in the inheritance list it keeps protected and public access specifier as it is in the derived class also but it cannot you know that private access specifier or private members cannot be inherited in the derived class okay that you should remember so public keeps your protected members and protected and public data as it is in the derived class okay so here in the private class i will use public access specifier now okay so in this in this public access specifier i will use i will use show data function i will define show data function in the show data function now i'll display all the members right now so i'll i'll right now i'll right here okay and right here name of name okay so i'll just write here name okay and then i'll display the name here that is name and after that adel okay so after that i'll display i'll display the age okay so here i'll use age then adel then after that i will display date of birth okay so i'll display date of birth here and then i'll display the address okay so i'll display address here okay so here address variable and then i'll display the next thing that is employee id okay so employee id i will display here and here i'll type the variable name emp id then and then okay then i'll display designation so i'll write designation here and then designation variable name okay then i'll display department okay so in department i'll display department here and then and then then i will display salary Okay, so in salary, I'll use in salary variable and then and then. Then after that, I will display. I'll display then academic record. So I'll display qualification. Okay, and here I'll write qualification. Okay, and then. then I will display the marks and okay. I'll display marks here then and then one to like then see out and then I want to display percentage so I'll display percentage and then then I will display passing year passing year okay so that I have done but one thing that I will do here right now that is I'll display here just see out personal record okay I'll display this first okay then in between that I'll again display see out and that is professional record okay and then then I'll display here also see out academic record. Okay. 
so we have done the show data also so we have done all with all all classes that is derived classes and base classes that is parent classes now we'll go into main function now in main function i will display first bio data and after that now i will create the object okay now i'll create the object of only derived class so prioritize is my derived class i'll create the object p now here okay and i'll display bio data here and then then for p object i'll just call first of all i will call get personal okay get personal this function i can call because it is now derived it is now acquired in the derived class b the get professional okay this i i can call the b i can call get academic and then the above b i can call now show data okay so show info right now okay i have defined i have used show info in my class diagrams i use here show info okay so this we can do now see now we'll compile the program and we'll see how it is giving the output so see i'll compile this first okay so what is happening here it is showing expected primary expression okay what is there yeah one angular bracket is extra angular bracket is ins inserted okay so everything is okay now i will run this program the okay, data enter the name of employee so i'll enter my name okay, age suppose 28 it of both one eight So here it is giving okay after date of birth it is not accepting the address so that's the problem so now we'll see i'll terminate this program right now and i'll go to program in in the this program in this program i will go there okay so here top we have taken okay so here also you we are just remember that when you are taking we are when you are calling get line okay like this in this okay if you are calling get line function and again you are calling get line function that times it doesn't give any problem okay it will it will work fine okay but when you are calling first uh, with the help of extraction operator operator you are taking a data okay you are taking a value and after that you are accepting the string with your data or the value with the help of get line that time it leads to the problem that is it it will generally it, it, it will throw the space blank space here and that will might be caught by this get line here so to call, catch the uh, blank space here i'll call get function right now okay so empty get function i will call so that now our problem problem will be fixed okay now i'll write all right you can see i have given the space between these two strings okay so it is accepted okay now use into the age then 0 to 0 9 so address now it is accepting the address so now we can we i can i can write the address like this maharashtra india asia okay for one one zero zero five you can see okay so it is accepting the whole whole string here okay with the, with the including the black spaces okay employee id i will enter here for zero three into then now again in the, in the designation it is having the problem okay so in the designation we'll do the same pro we'll do the same again under the designation okay so in the designation where is the designation so see you can see in the designation okay in the designation what is happening here we have not called get because previously there is a there is a uh, extraction operator that's seen with the extraction operator 
so here also we have to call get empty gate function again we'll check whether we require a, 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 any, a any place okay so after salary you can see after salary we are taking qualification okay so we also need the function here also that is c dot get okay i'll take here get also okay so at this time again i will now run this program okay so right now i will enter the name okay so to 09 okay then enter address Pune Maharashtra India Asia 4111005 okay employee day I will enter 3 oh no it is accepting designation so assistant assistant professor Okay, now it is accepting department also so computer engineering i did like uh, it is ex, uh, it wants salary so I, oh, salary it works fine enter the qualification so me so for me i have not taken any data okay so qualification i have not used so me csd okay so marks 900 and percentage 98 okay so now press enter passing year supports 2000 and now i'll press enter button now you can see here postal record is displayed okay everything is displayed here well you can see whatever we have entered it is now displayed here free designation everything you can see you can see you can see here okay so this way you can do the program in multiple inheritance okay the biodata program employee biodata program you can implement you can write you can implement with the help of multiple inheritance concept okay so if you are having any doubt you can post your doubts in the comment section so thank you for watching my video bye bye